the law enforcement operation we are undertaking in the Tigray regional state is a task we have commenced due to the persistent and dangerous illegality of criminal clique within TPLF. Until very recently, hoping that reasonable and moderate forces within TPLF will be able to bring an end to the brickmanship of their rock comrades. We have handled the situation with great restraint. The federal government had every right to deploy federal security forces and use force in order to apprehend those implicated in massive corruption and gross human rights violation. However, we and other independent entities continue to urge the regional government for months to respect and enforce federal laws. These calls were unheeded. The patience we have shown to the criminality within TPLF has entailed a huge cost. The treasonous massacre perpetrated last week against our men and women in uniform of the Northern Command was carried out while they were at their most vulnerable, in their pajamas, and among those who they thought were their peers. Such a treasonous act left us no option but to mobilize our law enforcement and defense machinery in an operation intended to end the prevailing lawlessness in the region. Considering the complexity of this law enforcement operation in the Tigray region, in the past few days, we have been able to accomplish the following three key milestones. Firstly, last week, the House of Federation invoked the constitutional authority under Article 629 and Proclamation 359-2003. Accordingly, it instructed the federal government to take all necessary measures to reverse the state of affairs in the Tigray region that are posing a grave danger to the constitutional order. This included the establishment of a provisional administration within the region, which I am pleased to share is being put in place as several towns come under control of the State of Emergency Task Force. Secondly, the heroic Ethiopian National Defense Forces foiled and repelled the plan of the TPLF clique from taking control of some of the military bases and depots of the Northern Command. We have also been able to neutralize the heavy and long-range weaponry that the criminal elements within TPLF managed to acquire previously. The National Defense Forces liberation of the western part of Tigray from TPLF's grip is a victory for the Ethiopian soldiers of the Northern Command that faced gruesome and fatal attacks. It is a victory for the innocent civilians of my cadre that were brutally massacred by TPLF forces this week. It is a victory for the peace-loving and hard-working people of Tigray who have been isolated from their fellow Ethiopians through the unceasing hate and fear propaganda of TPLF. Thirdly, it is also to be recalled that the federal government had launched several criminal investigations and brought charges for serious crimes in which the TPLF clique have been implicated. In order to ensure that a culture of impunity will not become the norm, we have continued to exert great effort to identify and apprehend those who have been involved in corrupt transactions and those that need to be held accountable for their crimes will soon be brought to justice. Overall, our concerted effort to ensure that rule of law will prevail in the Tigray region also focuses on recent crimes committed against the National Defense Force, the Republic, as well as the constitutional order. It should be noted that outrage against the Constitution or the constitutional order 
armed rebellion attacks against the political integrity of the state, impairing the defensive power of the state. And high treason are all serious crimes under the laws of our land. There is ample ground to believe that the statements, decisions, and acts of key figures within the TPLF could amount to a violation of provisions of the criminal code that prohibits such conduct. Investigations regarding these crimes are currently underway, and those suspected of committing any of these crimes will be apprehended. We are confident that in a relatively short period of time, we will accomplish our objectives and create a conducive environment for life to return to normalcy for our citizens in Tigray. We will exercise due care to protect law-abiding and peaceful citizens from being harmed by oppression we are undertaking. Ultimately, this rule of law enforcement oppression will enable sustainable peace and stability throughout the country.